Naked mole rats are a very, very unusual um, animal. They're part of a big family called the African mole rats, but within that family they are the most extreme. When they were first discovered, actually, in the late 1800s, and the naturalist who found them first and reported on them thought he'd actually found an old or decrepit specimen. He didn't realise that that was actually what they were like. So they are very, very unusual uh, looking. Um, we have described them in the past as looking a bit like a, a sabre-toothed sausage um, because the, fir the first thing you see when you look at one of these is the teeth. So actually those front incisors, typical um, large ever-growing incisors that all rodents have, um, they're actually situated outside the mouth, outside the lips, um, and the lips actually close up behind those front incisors, and it's a really good adaptation because unlike our insectivorous moles that we find in this country that dig with their claws, these dig with their teeth. And you can just about probably see the eyes. They're quite vestigial, obviously, because they're in a totally dark underground environment where there's no light. So they're fairly blind. They can probably perceive the extremes of light and dark, but can't really form an image. They don't have any external ear. They're, the ear's actually just, just there. So, again, it stops soil getting in your ear. <laughs> um, and the feet are actually quite flimsy. Although they use them for sweeping the uh, loose soil away, they don't use them for, for digging. And what you can see is that although they're called naked mole rats, they're not, in fact, completely naked. Their body is covered in a fine scattering of sensory um, whiskers. And um, this tactile sense is very, very important to them um, as they're, they're moving down these, these narrow uh, tunnels. Because in the wild, their burrow systems can cover two or three kilometres, so they're absolutely enormous. I mean, these things are, uh, are fantastically adapted to their particular niche, and they can excavate literally two or three tonnes of soil a year, which, as you can see, is for quite a small rodent, is an impressive feat.